Welcome to the Inspire Sessions by SMK. One of my zones of genius is actually research. I love picking a topic, researching it, distilling it down, putting it into actionable little nuggets of practice in my own life, and then paying it forward to you so that you can have a better experience on this earth. Today, the topic I wanted to talk about was a book from one of my most favorite authors, the late, great Debbie Ford. And on a side note, if you're writing a book and it's unfinished and you think nobody wants to read this, I'm not good enough, all these stories are coming up for you around finishing your book, finish your book. Debbie's in heaven and her legacy lives on. I didn't start reading Debbie until she was in heaven and she's still touching and inspiring people here on earth. Finish the book. So, one of the questions in the book is, will this choice add to my life force or will it rob me of my energy? Now, If we keep this question in mind while we're planning our days, we will see that we actually have countless opportunities to add to our life force. Being around people and places we love, doing things that give us great satisfaction, taking time to digest the events in our lives, being less busy, telling the truth, laughing a lot, eating right, exercising regularly, having long talks with those we love, these are among the best ways to nourish our vitality. Our life force thrives when we are completely engaged in the present moment. We rob ourselves of energy when we dwell in the past. Mentally rehashing situations, events, and circumstances that we have no power to change diminishes our ability to be present here and now. So today, I invite you to take this question with you wherever you go. I invite you, before you choose what you wanna eat, before you choose where you wanna go, what you wanna do, before you do anything today, I invite you to ask yourself, will this choice add to my life force or will it rob me of my energy?